So, as I promised in one of my videos, I'm going to show you what I have inside these small bags. Which I put in my main bag. The one I take on court, you know? You know, with all those zips, rackets and stuff. Is that clear? Okay, so this one, not this one, but this one. I know, I know, you guys probably think that uh, you have an idea what we professional tennis players usually have there. And I'm going to show you that you are completely wrong. Let me guess, you think that it's something like this. Okay, what we have there? Doping pills. More doping pills. These are actually very, very good. Wait, what is that? Aha, uh -huh. match fixing script. That's an old one. Condoms, of course. Some cash from those match fixings. These two work great together. What is that white powder? I don't know. But tastes good. No, no, no. That is completely wrong. That is not what we have there. Apart from those condoms, perhaps. Well, it is actually a top secret and I have never ever shown it to anyone before. So take your kids away from the screens and prepare for the truth. But before we start, this video is brought to you by Top Court. Topcourt is a great tennis platform, more about it you can find out in my other video, it's gonna be somewhere there. Stop, stop. And if you subscribe... Stop wasting their time! Everything they need to know they can read in the description below. Okay, okay, relax. Let's open them. Let's start with this one. Well, I am sponsored by HEAD, so most of my stuff will be HEAD there. But it's not a review or anything, so in most cases it can be any other brand. But you know, I love HEAD. Well, Everybody loves hat, don't you? You open it up. Open it up! Grips. Yeah, I know. Boring. I prefer white ones. The ones on clay look like that after 15 minutes. But as I'm mostly a hardcore player, it's fine for me. I prefer them to be a bit sticky, so not that tourna grip style. What else? How often do I change them? I don't know. I put a new one for every match. And as for practice, it can vary from one practice to one month. No rules there. What's next? Under tape wrap. Apart from its main purpose, to put it under the tape obviously, I use it mostly for my knee. Yeah, that one. So this tendon gets inflamed quite often and hurts. The reason for that my tight and overused squats. The reason for that is more complicated and too long to explain. And I'm definitely not an expert in this field or anything like that. So if you have the same issue as well, you better fix it with your fitness trainer and physio. But when it happens, this thing helps me to reduce or even eliminate my pain. I'm not sure how exactly it works, but when you put it this way and then just roll, it pushes just enough to make your tendon relax and it doesn't hurt anymore. Again, I'm not an expert, but it works. It's like this space saver wheel. It will not fix the issue, but it will help you to keep going for some time. Next we have tape. Yeah, disgusting. As you see, I don't use it too often these days, but you never know when you're gonna need it, so I always have one with me. Well, this tool I have probably had for 10 years now, it measures the tension of your strings. Although it doesn't work that well right now, 10 years, you know, but I'm very happy with this investment. I bought it for around $150, not sure how much it costs right now. It doesn't show you kilos or pounds or anything like that. It has its own measurement system. 
That's the math we don't know. And you mostly use it to compare your tension from today to the one from yesterday or from different stringer. This tool helped me to understand that even if your kilos are completely the same, your feel of the ball may still vary a lot, depending on weather, altitude, wind and balls of course, the difference can be huge sometimes. Or it can show that it's not your shorts, but your stringer is simply not good enough, because anything can happen on those small challengers. Look at this job by a Turkish guy from Izmir. He has managed to make a 17-20 pattern on my 18-20 racket. Vibroshocks. These reduce vibration. Some players use it, some don't. I do. End of story. Stencil ink. This one is to make our rackets look pro. And it leaks sometimes, so be careful. Let's open this small pocket here. I'm sure we're gonna find something interesting. A small pen from Air Astana. Probably from that winning week in Nur Sultan. Good memories. I think it was a present or I've stolen it. Not the first time you've stolen from me, is it? My little beef. Sometimes the challengers, stringers, don't have these stickers with tension. So I can write it with this pen on my grip. Clippers. If you know you're not going to restring your broken racket soon, it's better to cut strings off to avoid frame deformation. Or in case you have huge nails on your toes, they might be helpful as well. Bags of salt. It's a salt, I promise you. I need it during those long comebacks we were talking about in my other video. So if you start cramping in the third set, you can put it on your tongue to trick your brain with it. It's another space saver wheel. It will not fix an issue, but it will give you some time. Okay, looks like license left here, so let's open another one. And let's start straight with that small pocket. And guess what? Painkillers! Difficult to predict what part of my body will hurt next, so it is better to have them ready. We have gigantic sunscreen here, from Israel. It was a present from my Israeli friends last winter. I have to protect my pretty face. Funnels. These guys are great, I recommend them a lot. I just put a couple of doses of my electrolytes and recovery drinks here, so I don't have to carry those huge cans. This item is from another tennis brand. That's why I'm not gonna tell you which one. I don't want to piss off my sponsor. But in short, it's a grip inhaler, so it's very useful in those humid countries. I never did get used to the humidity here. Some players use sawdust, but I prefer this product. And that was the last thing. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what other mysteries from Tennis Pro World you want me to reveal. Thanks for watching and see you next time.